Well, the next two men that we honor today need little in the way of introduction. Uh, they would be the first to tell us that we owe our success in Desert Storm to the real heroes, uh, the brave men and women who served so proudly in the Gulf, uh, who half a world away upheld the American ideal. Well, I've met with many of our sons and daughters who fought in the Gulf, and they are the heroes of Desert Storm. No question about that. They are the ones. But let me tell you what I know, something that speaks volumes about the stature of the two men we now honor. Uh, these are the men that our heroes look up to, General Norman Schwarzkopf and General Colin Powell. General Schwarzkopf and Chairman Powell, your commitment and good counsel, your deep compassion for every one of the thousands of men and women under your command will always be remembered. Uh, your objective was clear. It was the liberation of Kuwait. But our victory secured more than even the precious freedom of that small country. Desert Storm marked the end of an era of self-doubt and lingering uncertainty about America's staying power and sense of purpose. Uh, under your leadership, America sent its sons and daughters to confront an enemy abroad, and in the process, uh, you transformed a nation here at home. Desert Storm dispelled all doubt. America is, and America always will be, a force for good in the world. As President, and in this instance as Commander-in-Chief, on behalf of a grateful nation, I now present to uh, General Schwarzkopf and to General Powell the highest uh, civil honor uh, that this country can bestow, the Medal of Freedom. General Colin Powell. In a long and distinguished career in the United States Army, culminating in his service as Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff, Colin Powell has provided unsurpassed leadership and judgment in difficult times. A deft manager and forthright counselor, he personifies the ideal of the soldier statesman, serving the President and the nation with personal integrity, political judgment, and military skill. As the architect and manager of operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm, he oversaw the vindication of principle, the defense of Saudi Arabia, and the liberation of Kuwait. The United States honors this professional servant of peace and freedom. General Norman Schwarzkopf. Captain of victory in the Gulf, General Norman Schwarzkopf has served his country in war and peace with selfless devotion and dedication throughout a long and distinguished career in the United States Army. As Commander-in-Chief, Central Command, he responded to the unprovoked and unlawful aggression of Iraq against Kuwait with energy and imagination. He led the largest coalition since World War II, integrating the armed forces of disparate countries, cultures, and training into a single military force and achieving swift success in, in Operation Desert Storm. He has sought to build bridges of understanding between the United States and the peoples, people of the Middle East. The United States honors this soldier who takes his place in history's role of great commanders. Well done, Norm. 